Finding the maximum or the minimum of a parabola. I mean, I get, honestly, t finding the vertex is the hardest part. Once you have the vertex and you know roughly what the uh, parabola looks like, it's pretty easy. So, first of all, max or min of a parabola. And when do I know, like, which one's a max, which one's a, w a min? I have no idea. If you look at a positive parabola, it looks like a U, right? The vertex, common sense, would obviously be the lowest point of that U, right? So here I have the vertex, it's visually obvious that it's the lowest point. That's why they would say in a positive parabola, like y equals, you know, I'll give a random one, 2x squared plus a bunch of stuff. If this coefficient in front of the x squared is positive, you automatically know you have a minimum value. And I don't know if I want you to memorize that, or the second you see a positive, maybe you should sketch the u and be like, oh, right, if it's like a positive u, obviously there's a min. So, and sometimes people give you shortcuts, but it just confuses you. And they said, every time you have a positive parabola, it's a minimum. Every time you have a negative parabola, it's a maximum. That's too confusing. Just sketch it out. Positive parabola looks like that. Yes, common sense, it's a min. If I had a negative parabola, like negative 2x squared and a bunch of stuff, right? Right here, I would know because the coefficient of x squared is negative, it would look like that. Without too much detail, that's what it's going to look like as a rough sketch. And now you see the vertex of any negative parabola is clearly the high point of that graph or a maximum. So whatever. However you memorize that, I don't think you should memorize it. I think every time you should sketch it. Negative parabola, sketch that. Oh, it's a maximum. Positive parabola, sketch that. Oh, it's a minimum. Okay. Now, once you determine before you start the problem if it's a max or a min, which based on that sign of the coefficient is super easy, right? Then your job to find the max or min is to find the vertex, vertex, right? And the problem is, is that what's confusing for people, at least it was confusing for me when I was a youngster like you in my prime, running the streets, all right, is that you have this. Here's your vertex, x, y. It's a point, right? Some people also call it h, k, which I'm about to do for this problem. Now, is the maximum or minimum value this dude, right? Or is the maximum or minimum value this dude? And how do I know? Is it the x value or the y value? Let me just end your confusion and tell you it's the y value every time. So for example, here's a random problem that I made up. You're welcome. And I'm going to do two things. I'm going to find the vertex, and then I'm going to tell if it's a max or a min. But actually, I'm going to do them in the opposite order. Right away, I see a positive coefficient, if I distributed this, this determines whether this is positive or negative parabola. Positive a value, remember a, x minus h squared plus k. This is the vertex form. See my other vid, man? Check it out. OK, so the a determines up or down. Positive 3, that is a positive parabola. right? Without too much more detail about graphing it, none of that, just sketch. It's a positive parabola, which means the vertex represents right, the minimum. So I know right away I'm going to find a min, a minimum, not a maximum. And Ryan told me that of the vertex, it's going to be this dude, the y value. So let's find the vertex. Uh, this here is already in vertex form. Remember, the h, k is the vertex of any parabola in vertex form. So it looks to me like, oh, this is easy. The vertex equals 2, comma 4. A little flashback to earlier lesson on how to find the vertex. This is not negative 2 because the formula already has a negative. This is a positive 2, comma, positive 4. OK, let's just take a little breather. So now I'm kind of like, OK, so I got a positive parabola, so I know I have a min. But now I have these two values, right? How do I know which one again? Oh, right, the nerd guy that I sometimes walked with the random purple shirt, he told me that it was the y value. So for this parabola, you find a minimum value of 4. Done. They might say, for what x value do you get your minimum? And then you say, well, at x is 2, you get your minimum of y is 4. Don't get confused by the wording and problems. But basically, the two steps to find the max or min is, do we have a positive or negative parabola? Right? Which one? Min, max. Once I know that, that I have a min, then I find the vertex, and then that min is the y value. And that's it. I think they're pretty mellow. Honestly, following, finding the vertex is the hardest part, which is why you should probably watch my vertex video hundreds of times, and that will be clear to you. So that's it. If you're having a hard time at your local high school, you can take this online at Silicon Valley High School, pass it there, and have the credits transferred back to you.